Are you bored of waiting for the next update in the strongest battlegrounds? Well, here are a couple fun things to do to cure your existential boredom. A lot of you really need the last one. Let's get into it. The first thing you can do is create your own combo in the strongest battlegrounds. If you haven't realized by now, the combos you probably use during fights are combos that are unofficially made by players of TSB, like Kyoto and his Kyoto combo. You've heard of Makaka combo, but now I present to you, Eren combo. You are dead! One! Go! Let's do this. Once you have created your own unique combo, go ahead and upload it to YouTube for other players to steal. You will feel an immense sense of joy. This also takes me to my next activity, which is creating your own YouTube channel for the strongest battlegrounds. If you find yourself playing the game a lot, why not capitalize on that and make some videos? This is the reason why I started uploading videos on TSB, and now that one decision has paid off for me greatly. Also, if you do decide to go through with starting your own channel, remember to be unique and have fun with your videos. I could say more but I'll let you decide what you want to do. Let me know if you guys want a full video on this by the way. Next, we have joining private servers in the official Discord for the strongest battlegrounds. If you don't know how to find the Discord server, go to the official game on Roblox and then scroll down. Press the server and you should join instantly. Once, you've done all that, go to the private servers tab in Discord and join any private server that you want. Doing this is definitely a fun way to cure boredom, as private servers can become very random and chaotic. Who knows, you might even make some new friends. The fourth fun thing you can do is coach a noob. If you haven't realized, the strongest battlegrounds has been blowing up recently, which means that there is a giant influx of noobs coming in. You can get a noob from a public server or provide your services on the Discord using the steps from the previous activity. Now that you have your noob, teach them everything you know. Watch as the little noob that you train slowly become an angry sweat lord with time. Well I see you have over 5k kills now, how do you feel? Die kid. Once this happens, you have successfully coached a noob, good job. The fifth fun thing you can do is a little something called Goku Baseball, shout out to the holy grail. The first thing you're gonna want to do is get a private server and private server plus commands. Once you've done that, equip metal bat and spawn a bunch of Goku dummies in the middle, then, type slash, fly in your username. Now, fly up to one of the mountains in the map. Use your fourth move, Foul Ball, to send a rock down at the Gokus. To make this even harder for yourself, you can attempt to add even less Gokus, or organize them in a way that requires you to tweak your position to accurately hit them. The sixth fun thing you can do is go after the top player in a server. Now you might be asking, Aaron, in what universe is it any fun fighting the best player in a server? Well, listen, you want to get better at the game right? After you get cooked a few times, ask them to coach you. If okay, they accept, nice, you now have a teacher. If they decline, then you can still go after them and naturally get better. It's a win-win, and it's fun having a one-sided rivalry. The seventh thing you can do is become a trash control. This is kind of related to the last activity, but it's more of a level 1 type of annoying activity. You see these various trash cans located around the map? Well, basically you're gonna want to pick them up. Once you've done this, locate an ongoing fight, then launch that little piece of metal. Repeat these steps until peak satisfaction levels are reached. The eighth thing you can do to have fun is have a dance party. Go up to a group of random people in a public server and either start randomly dancing, or ask them to dance with you. Everybody needs a little break from fighting sometimes, and this is the best way to enjoy that time. If you want to make it an even better time, try to synchronize your emotes, now you have your own little elite dance squad. The next thing you can do is look up the various glitches that are in the game. My favorite channel to go for this is Zebra, as he seems to be the only TSB YouTuber that actually posts cool glitches. Then, try to do one of these glitches in the strongest battlegrounds yourself. They're actually insanely fun to do, so why not give it a shot if you've got nothing better to do. The last fun thing you can do is touch some grass. 